Up at bat, some of the best young softball players in the country. State champion Babe Ruth teams from across America here on the Treasure Coast to compete for the national championship in their age group. They're just excited. They're excited to be able to say, I went to the World Series. No matter who wins, just making it to the Babe Ruth World Series tournament is something to cheer about. The road to get here was a bumpy one for the Florida state champs. I thought it was unfair and I got really disappointed. After winning the state title, the girls told the I team they felt it was unfair that they got plain drawstring bags, novelty softballs, and luggage tags, while the boys were awarded these trophies. I was like, okay, well. At least not everyone else didn't get it and we got it. And then I heard the boys got it. Ugh. When the girls from Royal Palm Beach appeared on CBS 12 News, Babe Ruth state officials doubled down and defended the prizes, saying they provided functional gifts instead of trophies that would collect dust. But Royal Palm Beach wasn't the only team affected. Girls teams from other Florida communities got the same trinkets. So in Oviedo, just outside of Orlando, families and fans took matters into their own hands, throwing this celebration for their division winners and buying the girls trophies. Is the Babe Ruth League uh, sorry for what happened? Absolutely. I mean, Rob Connor is the vice president of operations from the national office, and he's doing what the Babe Ruth state officials never did apologizing and, more important, direction. implementing changes. He says the organization will set new standards that all states will follow when purchasing awards. We have to have some standards in place to basically minimize, you know, where somebody just feels as if they're, they're getting something that's less. Let people know that we're going to work on this. It, it's, it's not lip service. You know, we are about um, trying to make things better. Parents from Oviedo tell CBS 12 News that's a step in the right direction, but they have other concerns about inequities in the Florida State Tournament. Disappointment doesn't quite describe it. Brandon Rice had a daughter at the Babe Ruth Girls Tournament and a son in the Cal Ripkins Boys Tournament. He says there were big differences. From the concessions to the bathrooms to the game schedule, everything ran flawlessly for the boys. He says girls had slow concessions, dirty bathrooms, even problems on the field. So it sounds like two completely different worlds these tournaments existed in. 100%, yeah. His biggest complaint is how long it took to get the field in decent condition after a heavy rain. For the boys, he says field crews came out in force and in a hurry. But when the girls were playing wet and sloppy conditions like this, he says we're not treated with urgency. Parents and players were told there's nothing we can do. And this is the best they could come up with for our daughters and for our female athletes. Um, it was completely uh, a disgrace. Come on, win this battle! League officials insist the field problems were just about the weather, not staffing. Let's go, let's go. It's not a, a gender thing or an equality thing. It's, it's the sport, it's the venue, and it's the number of teams, it's the logistics. What I like to say is that if something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Sarah Axelson, vice president for advocacy, explains that federal law known as Title IX bans gender discrimination in educational settings, including sports programs. In practice, that provides boys and girls with equitable opportunities to play. And they're supposed to have comparable experiences in their leagues, from facilities to amenities and recognition given to players but it doesn't cover all sports organizations. Title IX protections don't apply to organizations like Babe Ruth. That law only comes into play when an organization gets federal funding, like a school. If this happened in a school setting, would Title IX apply to those kinds of things and could that have been a violation? Absolutely. Take that thing like you never did before. Take it high, take it low, take it fast, take it slow. For now, there doesn't appear to be legal recourse under Title IX. At the end of the day, we all have a lot of work to do in order to bring, you know, equality. And as a fa you know, father of two daughters, you know, I certainly am akin to wanting to make sure that that can be done.